So I do check the Stream Ideas channel in the Discord somewhat often, and I try to compile good ideas that I have, uh, or good ideas that I find, to basically ensure that if someone does find a good video to react to, like a new video is posted that's good to react to, that I do end up doing that. So this one was posted last year, but top five craziest fish ever caught. From a prehistoric beast to a monster with a human face, and even a weird fish pulled from a lake that looked like a cow. That's an Here Oscar. Are 10 of the craziest fish ever caught. Okay. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay, so my guess is these are going to be totally normal fish that I guess to an average person who knows nothing would say like, wow, those look insane. The angler was shocked and confused, thinking he had somehow hooked some kind of bizarre shark on the end of his line. Is it just a sturgeon? It had taken him nearly 40 minutes to rip the fish out of the water. It's just a and sturgeon? It like some sort of prehistoric beast from the... Nobody was able to figure out what a sturgeon was? Past. He thought maybe it was a shark, but as David found... An entire fishing charter was baffled by the existence of a sturgeon a very large group of fishes multiple genuses that later he had actually caught a golf sturgeon before catching the golf sturgeon david also caught a golf kingfish a couple of stingrays a catfish a puffer fish and even a crab he was quite an experience <laughs> crusty's gonna be angry about that one even a crab wow look at this beautiful crab that is definitely a crab crab the main part Wobbly of their internal effect. skeleton is made of cartilage, very similar to a shark. I mean, I appreciate the sturgeon facts, but the fact that an entire fishing charter was baffled by the existence of a sturgeon does not check out. I feel like he just found a picture of a sturgeon on Google and then made up a story for it. The Burbot. In Lake Erie, there is a very bizarre sea creature known as the Burbot. In Lake Erie, Lake, the freshwater lake, Lake Erie, there is a bizarre sea creature called the Burbot. Interesting. Sea creature in Lake Erie. Almost nobody has seen it. That's Even not fewer true. people have caught it. That's and most nobody has seen it? You're fucking kidding me. I can go to iNaturalist, the most common citizen science site. Go to Burbot. Oh, look. 384 catches. Literally across the entire fucking world. And that's just one website. People don't even know it's there. It's just but not true. It is. The burbot is a giant eel-like fish that hangs out at the bottom of the lake and is the only member of That's the cod not... family that lives in freshwater. The burbot is a weird and secretive fish and not many people have what it takes to catch them. In December, Dokalik caught two of these elusive fish. Not many people have what it takes to catch them, but 400 people on a citizen science site not often used by the surveyors who are actually finding these fish easily. Crazy. Gill nets and then release them back into the wild. Nobody has seen it and then shows a billion pictures of the fish from every angle, every possible place you can find it. Was out ice fishing in Pennsylvania with- Wait, what? Okay. We started with a sturgeon, then we got a burbot, now we have an ice fishing monster? What was this mysterious creature? It was a duck. Specifically, it was a very rough-looking Magansa duck that- What? Uh, the video is called- 10 craziest fish ever caught and number three is a duck probably shouldn't have been under the ice at all these ducks can dive for short periods of time sure but they definitely can't <laughs> dive for going the whole on? winter these ducks usually migrate south the rivers okay here's the problem every vertebrate is technically a fish so is this guy stupid or is he so stupid that he's smart <laughs> seven the dolphin fish. Nobody is really sure where the dolphin fish gets its name. Some Nobody is really sure where this thing that is shaped like a dolphin and moves very fast in areas with dolphins, also known as the mahi mahi, gets its name. Some say it's because the dolphin fish swims frequently with dolphins out in the ocean. Some say it's simply because they act like dolphins by jumping out of the water playfully. Dolphin fish usually have a bright... I mean, mahi-mahi are cool, but again, the craziest fish ever caught, we're talking about a fish which... 500 observations. It's highly unlikely the species will ever become endangered, even though they are so popular with fishermen. But just because they are often caught doesn't make it easy. Don't... don't underestimate humans. I highly doubt that they would ever get endangered. I would not underestimate the ability of humans to fuck up a species. 
No matter how abundant it is, I would not underestimate them. The monster catfish. No way. In Po Delta of Italy, a fisherman made the catch of a lifetime when he hooked a giant catfish that looked like some kind of monster from the never-ending story. That's not even that big. Why would this be your craziest catch when this literally exists? Look at this. This is a fucking monster. That's a monster? This is a monster? No, this is a monster. Why would you... Look at this. This could just eat multiple people whole. This is just a regular ass catfish. The fisherman's name was Dino Ferrari, and he caught a potential world record shattering Wells catfish that weighed over 280 pounds what? or 127 kilos. Surely that was not it the was picture. Also nearly if it's a world record Wells catfish, there's no way that was the right picture. He might have just given put a random picture up, but there's just no shot. Dino Ferrari is probably the coolest name ever conceived. Dino Ferrari is a pretty sick name. Zeno's fish could be the largest ever caught only using a sport fishing rod and reel. Okay, so that wasn't actually a picture of the one that he caught. He actually caught a much larger one and they showed a terrible one. Which really And they're just not going to show the fish that he caught. Is in a category of its own. Probably because copyright issues, but then why even include it? 5. Pink alien fish. What? In Mexico, a strange creature was pulled out of the water and mistaken for an April Fool's joke. A the shark? creature looked kind of like a fish, but also a little like a shark. It was discovered sw <laughs> It looked kind of like a fish, but also a little like a shark? You mean... Okay. Swollen, pink, and a little burnt. Is this just literally that catfish that people call bala sharks? Tip of the Baja California Peninsula. After the catch, Jaime posted the pictures online, not really sure what the thing was. But just because it so happened to be the 1st of April, everyone thought it was just a big joke. What? Nobody he's shown like eight different fish. He's shown tigers, he's shown a bala shark, he's showing ocean footage, he's showing freshwater footage. What the fuck is the fish? The creature seriously, thinking Jaime must have just made the thing up using- Just post the actual image. Why are you zooming in so far on random stock footage that has nothing to do with it? But then someone came forward- Is this it? He's shown this a couple times, but he's also shown like 40 fish. To identify the animal, according to fish experts, it was actually a very real fish, something known as a swell shark, a very small and rather evasive shark found throughout the Pacific Ocean. It fills its belly with water to look bigger. He showed like tiger sharks. He showed a fucking South American catfish just to get to swell shark. It also inflates itself with air when close to the surface. The reason this shark was so pale and sunburnt is probably because it had albinism, lacking any kind of pigmentation and making it pale as a ghost, and indeed, okay. a very crazy catch. That might be the first one that I would actually think is cool. A swell shark with albinism is probably the first catch on this list. One of them was a fucking duck. Some guy caught a duck and that made the video, so the fact that there was actually an interesting one, I'll give it credit. 4. Fish with a face Recently, in 2020, like a, monk a fisherman fish? in Thailand or, uh, caught stargazer? one of the ugliest fish stargazer. in existence. Yeah, so that's just uh, that's just a stargazer. They're pretty much fucking everywhere, and they are a little bit freaky looking, I'll give you that, but it's not crazy to catch a stargazer. 3. Translucent Blob A translucent blob was captured off the coast of New Zealand, and nobody could figure out if it was a plastic bag, a weird fish, or a transparent shrimp. No one could figure out if it was a plastic bag. They caught it and there was no human capable. <laughs> Not a single human capable. Stuart had never seen anything like it before and neither had his sons. After looking for help online, some fish experts suggested that the mysterious creature could actually be a salpa majora, a type of fish found- It's just a fucking salp. All of that intro where he's showing fucking siphonophores and jellyfish and shrimp just for it to be a sea salp. Bruh. This stock footage is so annoying. Please get better stock footage. It's so difficult. Only in cold. Yum. You like these? This is like uh, boiled eggs. The fish has a gelatinous body. And I love eggs. I said they look like eggs, not they taste like water them. through its body. It literally contracts itself like. Yeah, salps are kind of cool, but I don't know if that's one of the ten craziest fish ever caught. Fish ever caught. Might have to disagree with that. Two. The We've got a duck, a salp. <laughs> blackfish. In Connecticut, a man named Tim captured a record-breaking blackfish. Tim. It happened on October 4th. Tim. Imagine being followed up by Dino Ferrari when you're just Tim. 
Just regular old Tim got followed up by fucking Dino Ferrari, the we rare world record Wells catfish catcher. And you're just Tim. It turned out later to be a type of tautog, and it was so huge that it weighed in at 20. It was just a tautog? I'm one this whole time I'm like, what the fuck is a blackfish? I know the Alaskan blackfish, but what is he referring to? He showed a salmon, he showed a muskie, he's showing people out on the ocean. The whole time it was just a fucking tautog. Beating the Connecticut state record by almost three full pounds, or 1.3 kilos. That makes it big tautog. Nice. Alright, number one. The single craziest fish ever caught. And I cannot believe that this is not a meme because my chat loves the meme about the cowfish. It is the cowfish. Austin Claunch captured a fish that looked an awful lot like a cow you'd see on a farm, who replied that the fish wasn't a new species or an aquatic cow. Instead, the fish was suffering from leukism, meaning it had partial pigment loss. So it's just a piebald fish. This is the same fucking cowfish It was basically halfway catfish. to being an albino, which explains why it was so pale and why it had a pink fin. All of that video just to get to cat just to get to the fucking cowfish. I swear this video was made by one of my viewers. How did they know a, a year in advance? This person was making this video when my channel wasn't even blown up yet. And yet they knew cowfish would end up being a meme somehow. Ridiculous.